It's the video on how to fix a clogged 3D Systems Cubify Cube 3 cartridge. So I'm going to use a, uh, it's like a, uh, a Lego pry tool. You can get this at the Lego store. It's pretty much just a piece of ABS plastic that I can use to pry this up without really damaging the case. Pry it up all the way around. All right. So you got that freed up. You want to remove this piece. So basically what we've got going on here is how the printer actually feeds the plastic material into the printer itself. There's a set of cogs or gears in here. So what I use is a, uh, this is an eighth inch regular screwdriver. You can use that to advance the plastic. Turn uh, counterclockwise actually to advance the plastic. And you'll see it coming out here. Now, right now it's stuck, so I can pull it a little bit. Yeah, so what happened here is it actually probably broke off. You can see it broke clean off right there. So the tube ends it here. Take counterclockwise. Okay, so now it's feeding again. See it's slowly coming through the tube as I advance it. Basically manually advancing the plastic. This can take some time if it's all the way broken. Here we go, it's about to come through. So we're turn clockwise. Now we've got it refed. So normally you'd have a head here, a print head, but this is one of my broken cartridges, so use it as an example piece. There. All right, so we're gonna put this thing back together and make sure if these two metal pieces fell out to put those back in place. Um, I guess before you close it up, check one last time that it's feeding okay. Yep. All right. And make sure that this tube is on the inside of this curve, not 
outside here where the clips are. You want it between the clips and the and the, uh, the teeth here. Line it up. Give it a nice squeeze. Check once more, make sure the feeding is okay. I'm gonna go both forward and reverse just to make sure. So it's it's feeding good. So this cartridge, if it had a head on it, would be ready to print.